from Tampa Bay's number one news station. This is the Fox 13 5 o'clock news. And we're wrapping up our series on summer skin secrets. Dr. Joe's next with one of the most important products of all. Don't leave home without it. And we're back with Dr. Joe talking summer skin secrets. But this is, uh, we've been talking about natural products all week. This we one, have. though, you absolutely have to have it. That's yeah. absolutely right. Everything you see behind you, the carrot oil, the coconut oil, all of those things are luxuries, but there is one necessity, and that is sunscreen. Get crazy, get wild. Snooki and her friends on MTV's Jersey Shore wore their tans with pride. Honestly, I don't care about drama. And then there was tanning mom. I tan a real, you know, one, one, once, three, four times a week. Do you ever worry about your body? Um, not really. Well, I guess sometimes being like sunburned a little bit. The quest for golden brown skin is paired with a very scary reality. Tan is beautiful. A uh, uh, tan skin is pretty until it becomes tanned and wrinkled. Then it's hideous. Repeated tanning increases the risk of skin cancer as well as dreadful wrinkles. Dr. Neil Fenske is a board-certified dermatologist. I find I can get my patients to stay out of the sun more by telling them how bad it's going to make them look than the fact that it's going to prevent skin cancer. It's just human nature. We, all, we want to look good for as long as we can. Sunburns are the biggest concern for causing melanomas. That's completely preventable. How important is it to get that annual exam? Absolutely important. We save lives every year by insisting on all of our patients that they have a total body skin exam. If Just something is found, here. there's a new way to determine yeah. whether it's suspicious enough to warrant an expensive, painful biopsy. Dr. Fenske uses a special instrument called a dermatoscope. When I put this on, its growth pattern is a very regular pattern, and thus I don't need to biopsy. I've saved her the expense and the scar. If melanoma is diagnosed, doctors remove it. If it's spread, new treatments are in the works. Clinical trials using immuno and targeted therapies, which are saving lives. Okay, so we have heard that Snooki and Tanning Mom both have stopped tanning. Mm. They've turned over a new leaf. Good thing. Yes, right. And we also wanted to show you this. This came from the American Academy of Dermatology. I'm going to have you fill that up with sunscreen. There you go. Why don't you okay. yes. fill it up there You're going to see just how much you're going to need to use. I th I'm thinking it's more than what we think. Exactly, exactly. So when was the last time you, like, opened this? I just <laughs> did. I tried it out, Denise. <laughs> okay. It's a little thick. It's a little bit thick. <laughs> I guess I picked the wrong one. Okay. okay. All right, well, you can see. You yeah. just need to use yeah. about an ounce. But, you know, we want to talk about melanoma. That's the screen behind us. And remember, melanoma can come in lots of different shapes, lots of different sizes. But the most important thing is if it's evolving, if it's changing, if it's got lots of colors, if it's scalloped, if it's bigger than an eraser, you really need to see your dermatologist. But if you have that annual exam, of course, you yeah. know, they're yeah. going to catch it before it gets to that point, and they're going to catch the other things. But just say cells. one word about African-American skin, because a lot of African-Americans don't believe they need to wear sunscreen because we don't have the but same they exact do. issues. Even, you may not have as much of a risk for things like melanoma, but you can still get skin cancers, and you still need that annual exam because there's lots of other things that can be discovered. And remember, melanoma can hide in, in very strange places, you know. We know that African-Americans, they can get it on their feet, between their toes, so can, so can anyone. Even oh, Caucasians, yeah, and your scalp, right. I mean, because I know scalp, the dermatologist just bottom exactly. of the peeling, and look exactly. In your scalp it can be well. in the nail bed itself. Wow! Right? And, oh wow! Right? Bob okay. Marley, of course, yeah. died because of it. We have a viewer question too. This is Judy from Spring Hill, mm -hmm. and she says, "What if you're allergic?" to sunscreen? Well, there's lots of things you could do. There's different types of sunscreens. We know that there are chemical sunscreens. So some of the chemical sunscreens, what they're going to do is they're going to react on your skin. They're going to diffuse that UV light, right, mm -hmm. on the skin. And so lots of them have that at avobenzone. There's lots of different types. But what you want to look for if you are allergic is something that's more for sensitive skin. These two, Blue Lizard and Neutrogena, both of them, if you look on the back, it says titanium dioxide zinc oxide only those things. You don't want it mixed with the chemical sunscreen. Generally speaking, you're going to be okay. But I found something else Dr. Fenske showed me, and that is a makeup. This is a powder type makeup, which oh. is an SPF of 50. I want you to try this. I am okay. in love with this stuff. So look oh, at this. Look at that. It's like SPF a powder. of 50. <gasps> 
50. Oh, that's and it's just, that's good for you. That it's works just for you. a mineral. So basically it's a mineral, and so it's going, to def it's going to reflect back those UV rays. So this might be something that someone is sensitive or allergic can use on their face, but certainly right. when you go out in the sun, you're going to need something more. So maybe the titanium dioxide yeah, might exactly. work for her. And I know for women, too, one of the things that you hear is that it's the driver's side where the sun mm -hmm. comes in. That's right. always where you get the, that... Um, dysplasia and things like that because you're getting more mm -hmm. sun exposure there. Yeah. So. And you always have to remember to reapply at least every two hours. If you're swimming, that may be as, as quickly as every 40 minutes. Now, this you have to remember to put it on. So this is the other thing. Part of the campaign is this bracelet. This bracelet turns yellow in the sun. Oh. So it's to remind you, don't forget to put your sunscreen on. And there's also a bottle. This is, this is the blue lizard we just talked about. And what it will do is it will turn blue. The bottle will turn blue in UV light. So another great thing for kids that might excite them to put it on because again you can buy the best <laughs> sunscreen in the absolute world and pay the most money out there but if you don't use it right yeah. it's not right. going to work exactly. exactly if you don't use enough of it exactly yeah. the shot glass joe thank you very much let's go back out to chip at one buck place and all righty, TGIF, and here's what's trending. You know, we we're just talking to Dr. Joe about sunscreens, right? Yeah. How critical they are. Well, the other thing is checking, checking for spots that don't look right, like this. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Giving his pal the whole once over there. This is apparently La Roche Posay, which they do a lot of sunscreens, big cosmetic company. This is their way of getting the point across that you need to check your kids, you need to check yourself. Because if you have any spots that look suspicious, you gotta get them. Thankfully, those out. don't look suspicious. No. 90% you know, curable I'm if you just get a little, it. Yeah, this, it's, you know, when they slow the video down, it yeah. just. Right. That's yeah. actual, <laughs> what do you, it needs some music. It needs music to go along with it. That there actually nice. was yeah. music there. Oh, there was? Did you Is that what it was? Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So th this